Hello and welcome to Disney Makes Coloring. If you're new here, my name is Megan and I'm so excited to be here with you today. So today is day number four for our Coloring Sock Miss with May 2023. Yes, um, this is the Sock Miss Advent Calendar Coloring Book by Adriana Lay. You can get it on Amazon. I will put a link to it in the description box below. And as I said, this is day four. So what we're doing is we're coloring in this book every day for 25 days in December. So let me show you where we're at. So on day one, December 1st, we did this lovely snowman and we, or I attempted to use nail polish for the glitter. Um, it was not a success. Um, you can hardly see the glitter and it just looks like gray ugliness to me. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Um, day two, we used Ohuhu glitter markers here and I do put a hidden Mickey for those of you who are new on all my completed pages so there is that one there on here we did the washi tape has Mickey's on it I don't know if you can see that so I didn't add one but we used a stencil and added stars to the background with the glitter marker day three we used washi tape for the present and the number three that was quite the challenge and um, there is our hidden Mickey. So today is day number four. We're going to be coloring Rudolph. I'm very excited. Always make sure you put a backer page behind because we are using alcohol markers and they do bleed through. So for today, we are going to be doing Ohuhu's again. Um, we are gonna be coloring the base with Y180, which is Shallow Orange Cafe. And then the hair and the uh, whatever these are right here and this part we are going to be doing um deep teak which is y210 and then inside the ears we're going to be using the red which is r2 vermilion and for the cute little leaves here we're going to be using um our uh, g2 vivid green and then the nose the nose are you guys ready we are going to do stickles but we are going to do stickles at the very end because i'm really good at sticking my hands in it and it stickles takes a while to dry so and then for around the outside i have this red with silver polka dot washi tape it's going to go around the outside so we will do the washi tape before we do the stickles but yeah so here we go this again is Y180, which is Shallow Orange Cafe. Um, that is one thing about, let me know if you guys agree, alcohol marker sets. They do not have good light browns. And to me, most of the browns are, have a very red tint to them. And I don't, I prefer, um, I guess, what is it more like gray browns? Cool browns? rather than warm browns, is that, is that what it is? Yeah, I'm using the chisel side today, this time. See, that doesn't look orange, does that look orange to you? Even though the, it says orange, mm, yeah, no. So, um, yeah. So yesterday we talked about Christmas cookies, your, what your favorite Christmas cookies are. So I hope you put in the comments what your favorite Christmas cookies are. Today, my question for you today is, would you rather wrap presents or just put everything in bags? That is part of one of the question. Wrapping in bags is a lot easier than wrapping presents, but this is the second part of the question. I think it's more fun to unwrap a present than it is to open a bag and throw out tissue paper. I don't know about all of you. Um, yeah. I don't know. There's something about unwrapping presents. What do you guys think? What do you think? We're going to do the floor with the stickles also, by the way. So anyway, that's just, that's my question for you. Yes, so my mom, when she was alive, those of you who are seasoned friends know that she uh, passed away two years ago in November. Um, she would 
wrap everybody's in bags but mine because she knew that I loved wrapped presents. So actually that's not true. Um, it was tradition. I would go over to, well, I lived there until I was uh, 28 is when I got married. Um, and we would have wrapping nights. Um, that was tradition. We would watch Christmas movies and we would wrap until we were too tired to keep wrapping. And I did most of the wrapping. She would do the bags and I would wrap. And I... I do. I like to wrap. I know that's weird. I'm, I'm a weirdo. It's okay. Um, yes, I like to wrap. I like it to look pretty. And, um, yeah. So we would get everybody's stuff all wrapped and ready to go. And then, um, cause you know, she didn't want me wrapping my own presents. So then she'd have to wrap my presents. But, yeah, that was just tradition. And I think that's why, um, I don't know, it's a, a happy tradition that I don't have anymore. And that makes me very sad. Very sad. So there he is. There's Rudolph. We need to color the hair. He's got some hair here. And we're going to make that darker with this deep teak, which is dying. But I think this is one that I do not have spares for. This is a special one. Of course, I say that and I'm probably wrong. I need to look. But, yeah. So, again, as far as you wrapping the gifts, do you prefer wrapping or putting everything in bags? And then as far as opening gifts, which do you prefer? See what this size is like. Well, this side's better. Yeah. So, if you're looking for alcohol markers, you will know if you use them. Well, I don't use them a lot. I'm more of a pencil person. So, I'm probably not the best example. But, um, I'm using the black for the eyes here. Um... Or as much as I use them, which you guys have seen my completed pages and things, they last me about a year. And then here is my uh, red, which is my vermilion. Vermilion. How do you say it? Doing the inside of his ears. And then we're going to do the whatever this is, the the hanger part of the stocking. This video is going to be nice and sweet and short. And then the vivid green for the love. Oh, I don't want to use that side. The lovely leaves. The difference also is my 320 set are the brush and the chisel. And then both of my 216 sets are the brush and the um, fine tip. So I have learned that I prefer the brush and the chisel. Because I hardly ever use the small side. Because when I use alcohol marker, it's mostly for uh, the base. So it's big areas. But yeah. So we're going to do the washi tape really quick. We are going to, no, I'm going to get a gray out. Hold on. Give me one second. We're going to use cool gray uh, five here, which is BG050. We are going to do a little shadowing because we are leaving this white. So we're going to do that. And then we are going to start here and we're going to go along this, like that voila now we're going to do the washi tape so this washi tape is from a company called simply gilded um they have their own website um to me this is the best quality washi tape you are going to find out there it um and i don't think they're that expensive 
but I mean, I don't know. But it's good quality washi tape and it's simplygilded.com. So if you're looking for some good washi tape, she is known. Um, the creator is known for her bow washi tape, which I will show you here in just a second. I'll show you one. Okay, I don't know, uh, that's probably hard to see. Um, I have a ton of it. So this is her bow. I don't know if you can see the bow. That is her uh, specific bow. And she has all different sets with this bow on it, with different foils. Let's see if I can show it to you a little bit better. As it rips. So there you go. I didn't do a very good job of taking it off. But, um, so yeah, that's her signature bow. Um, Simplygilded.com is what it is. She has others. Um, all of her washi tape has either foil or glitter or something shiny on it. It is, like I said, it is my favorite, my personal favorite. Um, ooh, can't get this in there. Washi tape. Hers and then Exo Mama Plans does great Disney washi tape. And then she has her own website too. Get in there. All right. Stickles time. You guys ready? Are you so excited? All right. I don't know the color of this. It came in a pack of three from Michaels. You don't get color names when they come in packages of three. You get color names on them if they come by themselves. But, yeah. Make sure it... So we are going to start with the four and I am just going to, I'm just little circles. I guess I should have colored it first. So I might do that with the nose here in a minute. Ooh. So we're going to color the nose really quick with the vermilion. Really quick. And then we'll put it over that. Okay, we're learning as we go. And then we're going to do our Stickles on top. Oh, well, see, that looks so much better. Well, stink. We should have done the four red first. But now we know. I'm not squeezing hard. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's so sparkly. Now we're going to get my white paint pen out. We're going to do some a little bit of... Uh, accents here hoping not to stick my hand in anything I realized I didn't put any white on my on yesterday's so we are going to do little white to the eye here like so we are going to do the whatever these are called antlers heel and we're gonna do a little bit in the hair we're gonna do some on the handle and then I think we're gonna do some on the leaves and inside the ear what do you guys think? We need a hidden Mickey. We do need a hidden Mickey. Now, hmm. Where to put the hidden Mickey? We're going to put it 
right here. I don't have any rhyme or reason to where I put my head Mickey, so you guys know. None at all. So yeah, I gotta set this aside to dry. But that is day number four for our coloring sock mist with Meg 2023. Again, if you're following me, I know I haven't said this in any of my videos yet, but if you are joining me and coloring with me, I would love to see your completed pages. So if you would post them um, on Instagram or Facebook in my Facebook group, I would love to see it. Just make sure you, in the Facebook group, you post it in the comments below. On Instagram, you tag me and you use the hashtag coloring sock miss with Meg 2023 so that I can see them. I, could, I can't wait to see them. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So tomorrow will be day number five, and we will be doing this one, the candy one. Don't know what I'm going to do there yet. Don't know, I don't know. But yeah. Um, let me know in the comments below again, the wrapping. Do you put when 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 you're wrapping the present, do you prefer wrapping or using bags? And then when opening your presents, do you prefer opening wrapped gifts or bagged gifts? That is the question. Yeah. Um, if you're new, thank you for uh, being here and welcome. I would love to have you subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment below. I do love getting comments below. And I'm looking forward to talking to you all tomorrow.